Hi, I'm Tara from Two Hives Honey. Thanks for providing our native bees a home. Today I'm going to provide you instructions on how to hang your new solitary bee home. We'll also talk about how to care for and handle the cocoons if your kit also came with mason bee or leaf cutter cocoons. It's really critical that you do certain things to ensure that your bees decide to nest in your home and don't leave and go somewhere else instead. First, pick an appropriate spot for your solitary bee home. It's important that you choose a spot along a solid object, such as a fence, wall, or post that receives early morning sun. Using the included hardware and a screwdriver, screw the home into your solid object. It may be necessary to pre-drill a hole with a 5 64th inch drill bit. I recommend you hang the home three to six feet off the ground. Better yet, hang it at eye level. Solitary bees are incredibly docile and you want to easily be able to watch the action as bees start to nest. Then place your bamboo in the home. Push them all the way back, but you may want to stagger them a bit so that the bees can easily find their reed. Second, spring mason bees, one type of solitary bee, use mud to make their nest. It's best to dig a small hole in the ground near your bee home and create or add cakey mud. Place the mud on the southern wall of the hole and keep it moist. Keep in mind bees prefer to gather mud from vertical sources. Finally, make sure you have blooming plants in your yard for the spring and summer. This will ensure you're most successful in getting bees to nest in your new solitary bee home. This is food for our bees and if they have to travel elsewhere to find things to eat, the chances that they'll nest in your home aren't very good. If you ordered cocoons, you will receive a certificate for bees in your package. Simply visit the website listed on the certificate and enter your code. Pick the date of when you want your bees to arrive and your cocoons will be shipped to you free of charge. When you receive your cocoons, they will come in a box similar to this. You should receive 10 cocoons if your kit included mason bees. You will receive six drones and four queens. If you're storing your cocoons for an extended period, make sure to keep them in the refrigerator. It's wise to keep a paper towel or sponge soaked in water nearby to keep them from drying out. Do not install your cocoons until day temperatures reach 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're ready to install your cocoons, again, wait until day temperatures reach 50 to 55 degrees. Simply come outside and first remove a number of the bamboo reeds. You want enough space in the home so that you can put the box on top of the reeds. Next, open up one end of the box with your cocoons inside. Be careful not to drop them. And then just push the box inside. Check back in a day or so and you'll be surprised to see that your cocoons have probably already hatched out. When they have, simply remove the box and replace the bamboo reeds. Keep in mind the only maintenance that you need to do for your new solitary bees is it's good to replace these reeds every couple of years because that will prevent any mite buildup inside the bamboo. Enjoy your new bee neighbors and thanks again for providing a home for our native bees. Keep in mind, all of our solitary bee homes are modular, so you can buy additional ones to build a whole neighborhood for your bees. To buy cocoons and additional homes, and for more information on solitary bees or honeybees, please visit our website at twohiveshoney.com.